ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the draw for Ball Seekers Cup. So hi everyone, here we are for the draw for Ball Seekers Cup. I'm joined here by Matt, known to you all as Aussie Villain. How are you Hello, doing, Matt? Good Very well, thank you. Good, good. Nice to see you dressed for the occasion. It's a big occasion. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, for those of you that don't know... Um, the, re the reason for this tournament is uh, a couple of friends of mine over in Hungary sadly uh, got ill with COVID recently and within 24 hours of each other on the 13th of February they both sadly passed away uh, leaving a six-year-old daughter as, so unfortunately she's now orphaned um, I mentioned this unspeakably yeah. horrible oh absolutely yeah yeah it's devastating um, yeah her whole life completely turned upside down in 24 hours um, yeah just just grim grim um, so I've mentioned this uh, to a couple of guys um, within the FM uh, creator community and Matt here uh, reached out to me and suggested that we put together a, a little tournament to try and uh, raise a, a little bit of money for the family. Um, fortunately, the community, being as it is, has jumped on this. Um, what I thought we might pull together maybe eight or ten competitors has yeah, now turned into 40. Turned to be a little bit bigger than we anticipated. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it certainly has snowballed a little bit hasn't it you know um so yeah so we now have well we have 39 competitors in there um i'm going to be in twice just to make up the number to around 40 and it's amazing that we have competitors from all over the world getting involved we have a guy from argentina we have people from the states and canada italy belgium so what we've decided to do is to set this up as a Ryder cup style tournament uh, everybody has one tie and we have it as a UK against the rest of the world format. Um, we have streamers, we have uh, YouTube creators, a couple of bloggers who are going to join the YouTube teams. So I think really without further ado, we should try and get on with the draw unless there's anything else you want to add now, Matt? Yeah, I just think uh, maybe just off the top, there is no sort of one way that the, the ties have to be decided. All we need at the end of the day is, is just a point, whether it's for Team Green UK or Team Aussie Villain rest of the world. We just need a point. So it's up to the creators if they want to just do a one-off game, if they want to do home and away legs, if they want to do a 24-hour marathon and see who has the most goals at the end of that. It's up to each individual tie for the two creators to decide how they want to decide the point. Um, but we, we we don't mind. So it's hopefully we're going to get a few different different styles of, of format as well. So, um, yeah. yeah, it's going to be exciting. I'm looking forward to it. I've never seen anything like this before, to be honest, for, for a football manager tournament. So, um yeah, hopefully if it works, it's something that we can see more of because I can see this being a lot of fun. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And it's going to be very interesting to, to see how people are creative with, with their ties um, and the different formats it's going to be presented in, whether they're live streams or YouTube episodes or whatever. So yeah, it's going to be a lot of good content coming up over the next uh, week or so from uh, a bunch of different people. So yeah, yeah very exciting. Yeah, there's a mention too. Uh, on Twitter, if you want to sort of follow along with the tournament, uh, there'll be a hashtag Ballstickers Cup. Um, so sort of follow along with that hashtag. I think myself and Pete will be, uh, will be well on top of everything that's taking place. Most of the fixtures, I think, will be taking place next Saturday, so the 27th of February. Um, but it's up to the individual creators to you know what time works out best for them. Obviously, everybody has lives, and with time differences, it's not necessarily going to be able to be done on the 27th. Um, but everybody will be using the, the hashtag Borsikas Cup. So if you follow along with that, uh, you'll be able to keep fully up to date with uh, with uh, who's winning. And yeah, you just have to decide now if you're Team Green UK or Team Aussie Villa rest of the world. And there's an obvious choice to that, you know. <laughs> right then, so what, what we're going to do, I think we'll start with the uh, the streamers first, that part of the draw. There is well, one... there is uh, there is a tie that we had to sort of predetermine, right? Just That's to, right, just... yeah, yeah, just because of uh, scheduling issues. Um, and that is in the streamers part of the draw. So representing Team UK in that fixture will be Omega Luke. And representing the rest of the world will be Michelinio FM. So, oh, Michelinio. <laughs> so basically what we have to do in that case is we're going to go straight over to the, uh, the list of Hungarian teams, which you can see here on screen. Uh, we have only 32 teams in FM in the Hungarian playable leagues. So we have added in eight uh, duplicates. If anybody in a tie picks a duplicate, obviously we'll spin that again. So we get two different teams in a, in a match. So let's start. We're going to click and see who Omega Luke is going to be playing as. Drum roll, please. 
So Omega Luke has got Solnok, which is a second division team. We remove that from the wheel. And we're now going to draw Michelinio's team. Who's he going to be playing as? Oipesht. A team that uh, you just told me you know quite well there, Matt. You played as them yep. previously. I've had a, get, I've had a series with them. Of course, I called them Ujpest, which is clearly incorrect. <laughs> the, the way I pronounce Hungarian is almost certainly incorrect too, and my missus is Hungarian, so <laughs> I wouldn't worry too much about it. Okay, so now we're going to draw the first of the UK streamers. And that is going to be Sweet Left Foot. And the team he will be playing as... is Chakvar. Now, if anyone's got stadiums loaded in the game, you want to check them out, because uh, it's quite comical to, to see theirs. Sweet Left Foot will be playing against Foggy Plays. Go on, Foggy. <laughs> and Foggy's team is going to be... Oh, there's the second Oipest to come out of the draw. So two tough Apparently ties. Uh, rest of the world team Ujpest. Yeah, it looks that way, doesn't it? <laughs> so a couple of difficult ties there for the UK guys, all both playing as second division teams. Now the next rest of the uh, next UK, sorry, guy is RDF Tactics. Don't mind my typing, guys. I just I'm the I'm the bookkeeper here. <laughs> yeah, and I'm trying to scroll things down just in case we miss anything, so <laughs> Okay, so RDF is going to be playing as my favourite team in Hungary, Gimot. He will be up against, for the rest of the world team, Demand More FM. And Demand More's team is going to be... Oh, he's got a biggie. He's got Fehevar. So they are one of the two big teams... In the Hungarian league, them and Ferenc Varos. We're doing okay with our team draws here, aren't we? Yeah, we're you're doing very that. well. We've we've pulled all second division teams so far, and you've got all first division teams. So I'm beginning to wonder whether these wheels are biased. <laughs> the FM guys are with us for now. <laughs> so we have Brad Jerno as the next UK streamer, and his team is going to be. Mezokovejd. So finally, we have a top flight team for the Team UK. Up against Brad Jerno is Bullions on Twitch. Who will be playing as Vashash. So finally, we have a first division versus second division tie in Team UK's favour. There we go, a heavyweight, a heavyweight tie, that one. Absolutely. Although Vashas are a good second division team, so... Okay. The next tie brings Scooby, who is known as Ludicrous Llama, on Twitch. Which is a great name, by the way. Absolutely. Not the only Llama in our draw, either. No, no. <laughs> I wonder if we'll get a Llama derby here. Oh, uh, unfortunately not. No, he's... He, yeah. The other Llama is in the YouTube camp, so it's, it's probably unfortunately best to keep impossible. The separated from yeah, the they'd probably fight with each other, wouldn't they? Yeah, a lot of spitting. Oh, I forgot to draw the team for Scooby, but we know who he's playing. It's Chasing oh. Lamely. So now we'll do two spins of the uh, of the team. So first up for Scooby. Oh, he's got a good one. It's Ferenc Varosh, the big guys. And Chasing Lamely will be playing as Ishvada. So that is a good all first division tie. And so no need to spin the wheel for the next tie because we've only got one streamer left in each camp. So for the UK, we have Micro Munch. And he will be playing as Pokch, which is, as we would call it, Pax. <laughs> <laughs> And obviously he is up against Scooter for the rest of the world team. 
who will be representing Honved. Of course, Honved, a very, very famous Hungarian team, the team of Ferenc Pushkash. Team I've heard of, which yeah. is unusual. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's not too many in the Hungarian leagues that people are very familiar with. Okay, so that concludes the streamer section of the draw. Six good ties there. And now we're going to move on to the, the YouTubers and, uh, and bloggers. So there are a couple of bloggers involved here, and obviously they're just going to hop on to the, the recording with the YouTube guys. So, of course, if we do happen to draw two bloggers together, we'll have to make an additional spin just to keep them separate. So without further ado, let's get on to that. We've got some big names in this, in this group. And we start with Tongi. And Tongi will be playing as Kaposhvar. The spelling of these names is absolutely killing me, but that's okay. <laughs> it's okay. I think I'm just about keeping up with the with the scrawling as well. So as long as I can read the handwriting at the end, we'll be good. <laughs> yeah. In the service, someone will, we'll figure out who everybody's got. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, who's he going to end up with? Okay, he's up against Dave Napovich. And the team that Dave will be representing, oh, it's another Honved. Oh. So, both Honveds in the draw go into the Wrestler World team. The next competitor for the UK is Custard Profit. Let's hope he gets a good team here. Oh, he really hasn't. He's got Buddha Ursh. <laughs> Sorry about that, Custard. <laughs> he deserved better, really. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and so he's up against JDHFM, who is in the blogging camp. JDH has got, oh, possibly an even worse team, St. Lawrence. Who were promoted from the third tier last season, so they're not a strong outfit. So a small weight tie that one, we might Very say. much so, yeah. <laughs> On the team, not the, not the creators, obviously. Yeah. We now have Jake Cooper for the UK team. Jake will be playing as... Get ready for the spelling on this one. Bekesh Chaba. <laughs> well, give it my best chance. <laughs> and for the go. rest of the world, the you got it, you? So he's going to be going up against Grey Hair Gaming. It's great to have uh, Grey Hair Gaming on board, actually. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. He's a top man. And he's up against... Him with gear. So that's uh, an all-second division tie there. Going back to the UK team. Who's coming out next? Michael 20. Let's see who he gets. Oh, he's got a big hitter. He's got Ferenc Varosh. That's good for Team UK. And who's Michael going to be playing against? He's up against Old Lady Plays. So it's a good job that he's got a good team because anyone that Old Lady Plays pulls out, she's going to do miracles with, I'm sure. One of the stars of the rest of the world team, I would say. Absolutely. Absolutely. If there's a. Oh, she's got a second division team. She's got Oika, which is Ajka to you and I. But I'm sure she will be able to squeeze every ounce of talent out of that squad. So that's halfway through the draw now. Now uh, we've got a, a really big hitter come up now in the UK team. His name's FM Greeno. I don't know if you've heard of him. <laughs> <laughs> Who's he going to get? Oh, not bad. Pushkash Academia. I'm happy with that. A nice stadium at least. <laughs> I know, are we going to get a captain's tie? Oh, maybe, maybe. Let's see. 
Uh, no, I've got JDFM. And me up against the giant Welshman. Let's see who JDFM gets. Oh, he's got a stinker. Seged. So, feeling confident going into that? <laughs> Is it that or do you have everything to lose? Well, yeah, quite possibly. <laughs> ways to look at them. Yeah, that's true. So now we have uh, one of the big guys in the draw, Tom FM. Great Another for Tom to come really and join us. Yeah, yeah, top man, top man. And let's see if we can spin someone good for him. Oh, we have a poor bloke. He's got Pitch or Pex. And who is Tom going to be up against? Oh, avoiding relegation. It's an interesting tie. Avoiding relegation is going to be representing Budafo. Excuse me? <laughs> uh, it's not swearing. Budafo is a real team. <laughs> so that, again, is not a, a heavyweight clash in terms of the teams, but definitely in terms of the creators. The 13th tie, Tony Jameson. Tony is going to be playing as Dorog. A team that West Ham fans should check out. You'll like their badge. <laughs> and Tony is up against FM Custom Kits. That's uh, Lorenzo from over in Italy. If anyone needs any 3D kits doing, he's your man. Definitely. And who are we going to pick out? Well, Lorenzo to play as. Oh, he's up against ZTE. Very pleased that the FM put it into the game as ZTE because uh, they're from a town called Zala Egesheg. And try spelling that. <laughs> I would have gotten ZTE. Okay, tie number 14. We have Benny D. He's representing Team UK. And he will be playing as... The one everyone wants to spell, Kazin's Barsika. Absolutely nailed that. <laughs> I'm sure you have. Just exactly as it sounds, you know. And Benny is up against the other llama in the draw, FM Llama, who is claiming American heritage to be in the rest of the world team. And we're happy to have him. Absolutely. We're disappointed not to have him. Oh, and he is playing as Shuruksha. So at least he's got JDHFM in his team who had a, a blogging save with Shuruksha this season. So we had to get some advice there. The next tie brings me again, FM Greeno. Like I mentioned I'm in the in the draw twice just to even up the numbers. So who am I gonna pick this time round? I wonder if I'll get Pushkash again. No, this time I have Kishvada. They're not a bad team to get. Middle middle of the table, top flight team. And my opponent in this Love game. Captain, yeah. <laughs> this time we're up against Leo Dimas. Jochen from over in Belgium. And he is going to be playing as... Nirekhaza. <clears throat> okay, five ties to go. We have Edinburgh FM. And he will be playing as Dioscure. Top flight team, so not bad. Edinburgh is going to be up against Dodgy Gamer. Come on, I'm sure you're very pleased he's on your team, even though he shouldn't be. <laughs> Claiming Turkish roots through his uh, yeah, through his wife. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the team here for Dodgy Gamer is the worst in the whole tournament. D E A C. That's the second team from the city of Debrecen. Again, just promoted from the third tier recently. Well, good luck with that, Dodgy. Yeah, he's uh, he's really up against it there. I think. <laughs> Next to come out for the UK team is FM Stinger. A 
Let's pick a good one for Stinger. Oh, hang on, we seem to have Honved in again. That can't be right, because we had them twice already. Must have forgotten to remove them once. Let's pick another one for him. Oh, it's improved. He's got Fehavar. That's a good team. People of a certain age like myself will know them as Videoton from back in oh, the day. Yeah, yep. yeah, yeah. But they've changed their name about six times in the last three years. So. Yeah, well, I mean, videos just aren't a thing anymore, are they? So <laughs> it was uh, BBDCon for a while, I think, as well. <laughs> yeah. So, and he's up against some bloke called Aussie Villain. Oh, here we go. So, you're up against a tactical genius in FM Stinger with a good team. Oh, absolutely. Uh, well, this will be a nailed on three points then. Yeah, absolutely. I wonder who you're going to get. Haladash. It's a second division team, but it is the team that produced uh, the tracksuit trouser wearing uh, Gabor Kirai, if you remember him oh, from uh, Premier League Bilo days. Legend. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, came to Bilo and Loan once. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, and uh, Peter Halmoshi, if any Hull fans are watching, he also came from Haladash. Wonder if they're available. <laughs> they might be a little bit old, although I did I did actually see Peter Halmoshi playing for them when he was in his late 30s in about 2015 so maybe he's still kicking around you never know okay the next tie we have straight edge tv and he is going to be playing as debra sen a very good team in the second tier uh, relegated last season but have invested heavily over the summer so you've got a good squad there and he is going to be going up against Room for Gaming. That's uh, Yurosh over at Room for Gaming. Yeah, yeah. Our Serbian correspondent. So, uh, yeah, yeah. A little bit closer on the ground to Hungary. Maybe he'll have some inside knowledge. Expecting big things from Yurosh. And, well, he's got a top flight team. He's got MTK. Team that are not very popular in Hungary because they're the team that were associated with the secret police back in the day. Yeah, that's uh, that's not the best history to have, is it? If you want no, to try no, 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 not really, not really. Yeah. <laughs> we have Route One. Route One is going to be playing as one of the last four teams. He is also as Dioscure. Decent team to draw that one. Just two names left now in the uh, Wrestler World team. He is up against Zilla Blitz. Come on, Zilla. Expecting big things from you here, mate. Oh, yeah. Zilla's a legend. We'll get a good intro out of him, if nothing else. Yeah. <laughs> and he has drawn Mezokovejd. So I'm expecting him, you know, he spent a lot of time in Eastern Europe in his saves already in FM21, so he's going to have that pronunciation nailed down, I'm sure. And so the last tie, we don't need to spin because there's only one option left. Hood Gaming for the UK. And he is going to be playing as Bushkash Academia. And he will be playing against F Romero 92 who is our blogging friend from Argentina. Yep. And of course, he has got one team left, which is Shiofok, which is uh, one of my favourite teams in Hungary, situated right on the shores of Lake Balaton. Really nice place to go and watch football and a good place to have a party afterwards. So There we go. Perfect. Well, that's uh... Gives, it gives us our draw. Now, just a quick reminder, this is obviously all for a good cause. It's been nice to win, but that's far from what this is all about. Uh, we will have a link to the to the Just Giving page in the description. If you haven't already, please do go to go, even if it's just a pound. Honestly, every little bit helps. Um, it's absolutely horrible what's happened to, uh, to Borsica, and it's just really, really just want to raise as much as possible so this poor girl can have the best possible, you know, life going forward. So please do give what you can. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I echo that completely. It's uh, a terrible situation, but hopefully we can do something great. Uh, the response so far has been absolutely phenomenal, far beyond what, what I expected it to be. Um, and hopefully we can really kick on with this tournament 
raise a lot more money and uh, yeah and do something to give the this poor little kid a, a better chance in life absolutely uh and of course don't forget to follow the the four seekers cup uh hashtag on twitter as well and um yeah i'm sure all these creators if you don't follow them on twitter already give them a follow as well and i'm sure they'll be tweeting out details of uh you know of when the uh when the fixtures are going to be scheduled and i'm sure greeno and i will do our best to keep everybody up to date with um when these fixtures are going to be out and uh yeah it's going to be really really exciting team green uk team aussie villain rest of the world which team are you on let us know on Twitter, I suppose, eh, Greener? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Get involved. Pick pick a yeah. team. Uh, we'll be doing our best to win for the UK. Um, and I'm sure you'll be doing exactly the same for the rest of the world. I always think it's more important as an Australian, just as long as we beat the UK. More than more than... <laughs> yeah, as long as they don't win, yeah, the Australian side of me will be very happy. Yeah, I think you have a fairly good record of that, to be honest. So. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, I'd just like to thank you for coming and helping with the draw and, and, and for the inspiration and all the background work you're doing with the tournament. It's uh, yep. yeah, it's really great what you're doing and really, really appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, it's all for a great course. Yeah. Okay. All right, thanks, guys. Well, we'll see you uh, yeah, when the tournament gets underway. Yeah, absolutely. See you all soon. Bye for now.